try this again. It is Christine with Gage Girl Training, online meal planning and coaching service. Today, I have a very, very, very special live chat for you all. Today, we are talking about the ugly truth about weight loss. And by the end of this call, by the end of this call, by the end of this live stream, you guys are either going to love me or you're going to hate me. But either way, it's going to be really hard to not have an emotional response to what I'm about to share with you. Hey, Michaela, what's up? What's up? Um, again, the ugly truth about weight loss. And two quick announcements before we get into the topic at hand. Um, first announcement is there is a flash sale on the supplement site, gagelife.com. Buy one, get one free on whey protein isolate and our vegan protein. And the 42 hard challenge just went live. I have never done anything like this, you guys. There are very, very, very limited spots. We will most likely sell out today, maybe two days tops. But I wanted you guys to know that the 42 hard challenge starts on April 29th. It is the first challenge that includes online coaching, meal plans, training plans, daily habit tracking, and a money back guarantee on your results. The program is $299. Early bird enrollment is available right now for only $249 for six weeks. I am your coach and you, we will be going back and forth via app. So guys, this is an opportunity you do not want to miss if you've always wanted to work with me. Um, it is on the website. Yes, it is on gagegirltraining.com. So like, Grab your spot, grab your spot, grab your spot. And so here's the thing, you guys, I am expecting to offend folks today and I'm okay with that. Like I said, I am okay with that. Um, the ugly truth about weight loss. The ugly truth about weight loss is the fact that it is very uncomfortable. It is not for the weak willed. It is not for the weak minded. And I find that when somebody starts a weight loss journey, it exposes weakness. It exposes a lot of weakness. And I find that people who are unwilling to be disciplined end up becoming a slave to their weakness. I'm going to repeat that. People who are unwilling to be disciplined end up becoming a slave to their weakness. Um, it is going to hit you in the deepest spots it is going to transform you it is going to challenge you when you are trying to lose weight you will be face to face with your excuses you'll be face to face with your bs you will have hard choices to make on a regular basis where it is going to be so much easier to just be like Meh. if you're gonna have so many opportunities to be like meh or you're gonna be like you know what do I want to choose discipline? Because in my professional opinion, I believe that discipline is the highest form of self-love. And I think that a lot of people have a hard time with discipline because they don't love themselves. And I know that's very harsh, but it's so much easier for folks to people please their way through life. It's so much easier for folks to put their jobs first, their kids first, their partners first. And it is going to expose a lot of weakness but yes Michaela it is going to create the opportunity for growth and you do need to be open to it so the thing is I think it's really easy for you to be like you know what why do I need to do all this this is fine I'm not that bad I really don't need to lose this much weight and so on and so forth but you have to really ask yourself do I feel good do I feel optimal is is my body a reflection of how I truly want to represent myself for the rest of my life because guess what your body is your home and just like I don't know about you guys does anybody get a little OCD or a little like ang anxious when <laughs> you're gonna have company come over to your house um, I don't know about you guys like if I know I'm gonna have somebody over my house I want to make sure that, like things are tidied up that the dishes are done that I ran the vacuum that the house smells good, that it's clean, like, and just like you want your home to be presentable, I think likewise, we want our bodies to be presentable. And as a result of that, too many of us settle, too many of us settle, too many of us get defeated. And yes, you clean everything to the max. And the thing is, your body 
is the only home that you are going to have for the rest of your life. You're going to have your body for the rest of your life. And I want you to think about that. I want you to truly think about that. It would be, how nice would it be if my house was guest ready? <laughs> and that's so important. And what I want you guys to remember is that you're not getting the results you want because you're not putting in the work. And you're not putting in the work because you're making excuses and you have poor time management. A lot of you guys are disorganized. You say you're trying, you run your mouth and act like you're trying, but the reality is you're full of shit. Hey Sherry, she goes, I only clean my house if my parents are coming. Other than that, I invite people over so rarely that those I do invite, I am comfortable showing my mess to. And I can dig it, girl. I can dig it. And I get that way, especially when my mother comes to visit. I am uh, very nervous about making sure the house is really clean and presentable. But my point is, we're not getting the results we want because we're not putting in the work. We're not putting in the work because we're making excuses. Our time is poorly managed. And it's easier for us to bitch and complain and moan about that than it is to be very honest with ourselves about that reality. And if you are watching this and you're like, Christine, you're right, I am full of shit. I can help you if you are like, you know what? That's me, girl. Like, yup, nailed it. Versus the person who wants to be all huffy and pissy and act like all self-righteous and act like you're trying so hard, but nothing's happening. And I had a client um, recently tell me this whole song and dance it was like, Christine, but I'm trying so hard and nothing is happening. And oh my goodness, like full, dam full on damsel in distress mode. I said, okay. I said, how many of the workouts did you do? She's like, well, what do you mean? I said, the workouts that I assigned you, how many of them did you do? She didn't do. I said, well, are you tracking your macros? And she said, yes, I'm tracking. I'm eating clean. I said, well, let me see your macro logs. She was tracking. Was she hitting her macros? No. She was like so off, <laughs> like every single day off. And, and yet the person has the nerve to cry to me about how come I'm not getting results? I'm trying so hard. I'm like, it's not about trying so hard. You have to be doing the correct things and you have to do them on repeat. And it's going to take time. It's going to take consistency. It's going to take detailed effort. But here's the thing. So many of us have to get out of that headspace of fighting the process, fighting the process, fighting the process, fighting the process where you, I, I, this is what I call it. I call it the kicking and screaming headspace. Who can relate to the kicking and screaming headspace? It's, it's kind of like you're throwing a tantrum. You're like throwing a tantrum like a child and you just don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You know what you need to do but you don't wanna do it. You guys know what I'm talking about when I say that kicking and screaming headspace. And if you can relate to what I'm saying, I do ask that you guys please give this live stream a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithms here on YouTube and I appreciate that. But the ugly truth about losing weight is too many of you guys have not moved out of the kicking and screaming headspace. The kicking and screaming headspace is where you don't wanna do it. You know you should, but you just don't want to. And I think that we go into this headspace where we associate the process with pain because when people procrastinate, you are trying to mentally protect yourself from the perception of pain. You're trying to protect yourself from the perception of pain that you feel you are going to experience if you do something. And the thing is, like, I get that, Taylor. She says it's not working because you're too focused on weight loss. Instead, be focused on being happy, healthy, and strong. I just finished leg day and I'm 29 weeks pregnant and I'm gaining weight. And I think that that's wonderful. And I'm glad that you are strong and that situation is very different. But for instance, I, I have a client who has recently gained 40 pounds in three months. This is a very, very, very short time frame for this person to gain this much weight. And this person is really struggling to get that weight off. And 
one thing that I'm trying to work with this person on in getting that weight off, she said to me, you know, I just want to focus on being happy and doing what I can and all that. And I said, listen, that's great. And I'm, and I'm glad that those things are priorities for you. But I know that this weight gain has made you very uncomfortable. I'm talking nothing fits her. Like, it's, it's completely disrupted her, this person's life. She's very uncomfortable in her skin. And I know this, this uh, client very, very well. And I know her well enough to speak very frankly and very honestly with her. And my point is, I told her, I said, you could do that. You could just focus on easing your way into it and doing what you can. But I said to her, I said, the reality is if you do that, the timeline with which you are going to achieve results is going to be on order of a year versus a matter of weeks if you actually dial it in. And say what you want, you guys. There's nothing wrong with slow, sustainable lifestyle changes. I have nothing against that. I am for that. But I'm speaking specifically, I'm speaking specifically to the folks who do want to see changes in a matter of weeks, meaning you do want to see changes in six weeks. If you are focusing on something for six to 12 weeks, you want to see a difference. And you don't want to wait a year. You don't want to wait until 2025. You don't want to wait until 2026. Who? I'm being serious right now, guys. If I said, you know what? Take it easy, do this, do this. Like how many of you guys would be okay with that? Most people would not. And I'm, I'm keeping it real with you guys. Most people, when they want their results, they want it now. I think of um, Willy Wonka. Do you guys know um, that one character on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Veruca Salt, the girl who turns into the blueberry? She's like, Daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa and I want an Oompa Loompa now. <laughs> like, we want it now. We want it now. We want it now. We want it now. And if you want it now, I'm not trying to trigger you guys into a black or white, all or nothing headspace. Trust me, I'm not trying to take you there. But what I am saying is if you want your results, you are going to have to focus. You're going to have to focus. You're going to have to make a commitment. You do have to pay attention to what you eat. You can't do it. You can't do it. And the sooner you, you literally relinquish your control and say, you know what? What I'm doing is not working. And say, you know what? What does work, right? I can get you results, I can get you there, but you need to stop, you need to stop acting like your nutrition choices don't matter because they do. Your nutrition choices absolutely positively matter and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it doesn't get easier, you're not gonna get there overnight and you have to commit to the process. And I think that there's something really beautiful that happens when you do surrender to the process. I call it surrendering. And am I a vegetarian? I am not a vegetarian. There's something really beautiful that happens when you surrender to the process. And that is, it's very humbling. Who here has ever been so humbled when you acknowledge that you're not where you wanna be body-wise, that you acknowledge that your body fat percentage is not where it wants to be, when you acknowledge the fact that what you're doing isn't working, that your lifestyle has shifted to a place that you don't even know how you got there, but it, it's time to pay your dues. Um, Michaela says, it's like I need to reprogram my mind to know how to eat and work. It's going to be hard to rewire on my mind, but it will be so worth it. And, and that is the foundation of what I'm talking about, the ugly truth of weight loss, is because you need to redefine your new normal. You need to define your new normal. Your new normal is going to look different, is going to have different priorities. It's not going to feel the way it used to. And the problem is most people eat when their mood pushes you towards something or 
when something's convenient. Most people eat under those two conditions, like it's an, a mood, emotional based thing, or there's just something that just so happens to be there. And as a result, they're just going to eat it. And the thing is, you need to retrain your brain to understand physical hunger. You need to retrain your brain to understand, is this true hunger? Is this emotional hunger? Is this just kind of like a time-based thing? Like, what does my body actually need? And my question to the group, for those of you guys watching, how many of you guys are so ready to make a change? You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You hate the way you look naked. And I'm using, hate is a strong word, and I mean that. You do not like looking at yourself naked. And you don't want to live another day going on with more of the same old, of the same old, of the same old, because you guys, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result. And I am begging with you guys and I am pleading with you guys to stop doing that to yourself. Stop putting yourself last. Stop eating like shit. Stop not exercising. Stop not prioritizing your rest. Stop fueling your body with garbage. Stop taking all of your stress out on alcohol and snacks and Netflix and bitching to anybody who will listen and instead work on yourself. It's going to be hard. It is going to be difficult, but guess what? You can either suffer the pain of being disciplined and focusing and really working hard on that, or you can continue to be a slave to your weaknesses for the rest of your life. And the choice is yours because do you want to be a slave to always giving into your sugar cravings? Do you want to be a slave to being this lazy person who is full of excuses and never shows up? I, I, I mean this, my God, my friends, I mean this. Do you literally like want to be that person do you literally want to be that person that is basically full of it you know what i'm saying you're full of it and how many of you guys know somebody i'm sure you guys can all think of somebody personally you all we all know somebody who says they're gonna do something and you know they're not going to do it you know what i'm talking about like do you ever know someone who's always late i'm talking always late or if they say, like, they're so late, do you have like a family member that's so late? Like maybe it's like around the holidays, they're so late you can count on them being late that like, if you're all gonna eat Thanksgiving at like three o'clock, you tell them that you're eating at noon just so they'll be there on time. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like you need to rebuild credibility with yourself. And when you don't trust yourself and you don't believe in yourself and you don't know if you're actually gonna do what you say you're gonna do, this is the time when it's time to call in for reinforcements. This is the time to call in for extra help, extra support, because guess what, guys? This shit is hard. This is not for the weak-minded. And I want to support you. And I have made my coaching so discounted for my new challenge, the 40 to hard challenge, which starts on April 29th. I have an early bird discount happening right now. The discount goes from today until Friday. What you are getting, this whole program is $299 for six weeks, which comes with coaching with me, a meal plan, a workout plan, daily habit tracking, or your money back if I do not get you results. I am that confident that I will get you where you need to be. That if you don't, I will give you your money back. And today only, you can get $50 off of this package for only $249. You guys, my coaching programs are thousands of dollars. And I have made this so economical because I know that there is somebody watching this right now that desperately needs a swift kick in the ass. And I mean this sincerely. You need someone to, to push you. You need someone to guide you. You need someone to support you. You need somebody to make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing. Because when you try it on your own, you drop the ball. You drop the ball. And if this is you and you are watching this and this is you, um, I strongly encourage you to make that commitment to yourself. Because when you invest in yourself, 
when you improve your credibility with yourself, when you make progress with your fat loss goals, when you see change and you feel that satisfaction of being disciplined and you feel that satisfaction of overcoming your weakness, you end up becoming the strongest, most empowered, capable, self-sufficient version of yourself. Who's sick and tired of being sick and tired? Who's sick and tired of being weak-willed? Who's sick and tired of just always feeling defeated all the time? Like that defeat becomes a mindset. It becomes an attitude. It becomes a chip on your shoulder. It becomes a thorn in your side. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys don't want to feel miserable and defeated. I know that you want better for yourself. And if you want better for yourself, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to join my program. The link is going to be in the description box. The link is going to be in the comment section. But you guys, the ugly truth about weight loss is that it's hard. The ugly truth about weight loss is that a lot of us are weak-willed. A lot of, The ugly truth is we end up becoming a slave to our weakness when we refuse to focus on discipline. And I know I'm coming off a little strong today. You guys know I have all the empathy in the world and I want to see you guys win and I believe in you guys and I support you guys and I'm here for you guys and I have all the grace and understanding on the planet. But there comes a point in time where you got to be like, are we doing this or not? Like, are you going to be disciplined or not? And that is where the rubber meets the road. That is where the rubber meets the road. That is where you guys really need to ask yourself, is this something I truly want? Or do I want to be stuck in this same cycle, in this same loop, becoming and constantly being a slave to my weakness? Because discipline's hard. Yes, it is. But being a slave to your weakness, being a slave to the BS, being a slave to your cravings, being a slave to alcohol, being a slave to laziness, being a slave to sleep, being a slave to temper tantrums, being a slave to your bad moods. Guys, that's not it. That's not it. And I, I, <laughs> I plead with you guys, regardless of whether or not you do my program, I want you guys to acknowledge that if you don't choose discipline, you are choosing to be a slave to your weakness. And discipline is the highest form of self-love. And I believe that you guys can do better. I know that you can, and I want to support you. I have very, very limited spots, you guys, at the price that I'm offering this program at. So if you are serious, make sure you grab your spot because they will most likely be all gone within the next day or two. So do not miss this opportunity. Again, visit the link on gaygirltraining.com or check out the link in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Before you sign off, I ask you guys to do one thing. And what is that? Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much on YouTube. If you guys can take two seconds and click that thumbs up, I believe you have to go to the three dots and then that's going to allow you to do it. But it helps me out so much and I really, really, really appreciate it. Oh, can I go over the program super quickly? Yes, I can. 42 Hard is a six week challenge. It comes with a DIY meal plan. The DIY meal plan is for your macro type. So you take the quiz, you figure out your macro type, and it's available in original, paleo, and vegan. So there's a high level of uh, distinction between the programs. Comes with a workout plan that is app-based for home or gym for beginner, intermediate, and advanced athletes. It comes with weekly check-ins with me comes up weekly check-ins with me but the thing is your check-in photos have to be in every Sunday night if you don't have your photos in every Sunday night you forfeit your check-in so I'm holding you like very very strictly accountable to that you have to do 10,000 steps a day you have to hit a gallon of water a day there are no cheat meals and there is no alcohol on 42 hard um, you have access to me during business hours um, Monday through Friday on this program. So um, that is the that is the deal. The results are guaranteed or your money back, but you do have to follow the meal plan, do the steps, do the water, do the check-ins, and be following the guidelines of what I am telling you to do. If you don't do that, you void the money back guarantee. So um, that is the deal. Um, and the coaching is exclusively with me. You will not be working with a team member, a nutritionist, 
or a staff member. So you will be getting direct access to yours truly. I, again, I have very limited spots. So if you want to work with me, you have to reserve your spot immediately because they are going very, very quickly. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And again, take two seconds to give the live stream a thumbs up before you sign off. So peace out guys. I love you.